I decided to get a track saw because my table saw can only rip about 10 and a half inches and it also has no safety features. In the past I've tried edge guides and saw guides and I just ruined the cut too often. In the past how I cut plywood was get close to the line with a jigsaw and then finish it with a flush trim Still bit. Still sucks. I don't like this camera. I used to be a photographer. I should have, should have been able to think about what the focal length of the lens was going to provide me. You didn't even hook up the dust collection, you... Why am I trying to cram myself into one single bay of a garage and do things like... We're cutting the top out of three quarter inch birch plywood. Unfortunately, it's been sitting in my garage for a few years and has become pretty bowed. I got way too excited to try this thing for the first time and completely nice. forgot to cut off the factory edge. Great. Yeah. I'm still very new to making videos. I uh, made a lot of mistakes on this project and it was kind of difficult to get them to show through during the storytelling process. But just know that I made way more mistakes than I'm showing you. All right. The plywood that I'm using has a nice bow to it, so I'm going to force it. I know this edge of this table right here is flat, not the rest of the table. And I'm going to try out this brand new glue dispenser that I see everybody using. If I loosen this, it's going to come squeezing out. Who recommended this thing? Dude, this is lame. What? What the heck is this even? Oh. Jim. Okay, that's kind of nice. Good thing I don't do this for a living. Don't forget to tap on all of the nails that broke through the trim into the surface of the tabletop before the glue dries. Plane down the plywood flush with the edge because your glue up went terribly. I still have to deal with the fact that this thing is bowed this way. The reason I thought this would have worked the first time is because this edge is straight. I think in order to get the same effect basically do the same thing that caused the far side to screw up. Just so I have a similar screw up on both sides. We'll come back and see just how much this sucks. I'm not sure how, but the final piece of edge band went on with no problems. Wood filler was on sale, so I figured, let's splurge. I got these things that I do not like. But I don't have a joining system. And I need to get one. Oh, I hate these things. You know what this thing is probably good for? Okay, this is what the basic construction of the side panel of the shelves is going to look like. It's not put together yet. I don't have a good doweling system or a biscuit joiner, and I certainly don't own the fest tool. So I'm using these to hold it as square as possible and I'll glue it and then I'm going to come back later and I'm going to dowel.
All right. Got a little dicey there, but it's definitely going to be 90 degrees, which is kind of a new thing for me. I'm going to pocket hole the shelves and so I don't want metal in there. So I'm back to dolls. to make a brace to go across the two legs. And I'm cutting it out here because I don't want to mess with that crappy table saw. And I just got this new beautiful saw. Couple more pocket holes and then you go. Playing with my gimbal again. Table legs, runner between the table legs. The other side of the table has bookcase sides, aprons to go across the whole thing, some shelves, and a tabletop. Sand. And then we're going to assemble. This is going terribly. Why am I filming this? Spacers, quick. Emergency spacers. Emergency space. Got it. Phone's making love to the clamp right now. Totally worked. Totally worked. Got a fidget. Totally worked. All right, I'm doing the dry fit. Everything seems to be going hunky dory. Everything seems like it should be working out perfectly fine. Everything's going to fit. A little tight. Everything in my ingenious master plan.
Okay, I've designed these little pieces to hang off the end of the table to hold this bar, which will hold this roll of craft paper. Just a quick shot of the process. There you go, bingo bango.